Well, everyone, here we are. Bum, bum, bum. This singles case in front of us that we're going to unbox today ends the 2021 mainline. And honestly, it's been a great year. It's sad to see the year come to an end. I've really enjoyed being a collector, being a part of this hobby this year. However, it hasn't only been because of the mainline. The sidelines, the expanded universe stuff has made the year much better as well. And we all know what I'm talking about in particular, the NASCAR line. Man, that made the year a heck of a lot better. And I'm super happy to see it continue in the 2022 because I have no doubt that it will also improve that year as well. But not to take anything away from the main line either. In my opinion, it was the best main line since 2016. So that's five years and it was 10 times better than last year. That's for sure. The year of a gazillion silvers and metallics and just overall repaints really was refreshing to get so many new characters and just some great releases in the main line this year. Obviously, they can improve upon the deluxes and the two packs, but you know what? That's for a separate video where I want to dive into the year and really analyze what it did well, what it didn't do so well, and what I hope to see in 2022. But that's not this video. We need to savor this moment here. We need to really just suck on it like a Jolly Rancher because this is literally the last case I will unbox for 2021. Maybe they sneak out a 2022 case before like the actual end of the calendar year, but you guys know what I mean. And so let's just get right into it. Give me collectibles. Thank you as always for the case. You can email him using the address I provide in the description. Please, please, please. I really wish like everyone watched like two minutes into the video. Most case unboxings, I say that within like 45 seconds. And yet I still get a ton of people asking me, where do you get your cases? And I'm just like, bro, how do you even know I get cases? Cause I mean, they very much go hand in hand. You click on this video and you stay for 45 seconds and you know where I got the case. I don't know. Anyways, let's dive into this case. Obviously we all know the good stuff in this case, but the rest of the stuff, however, that is a mystery to me at least. And it really is what makes the case. And you might be surprised about that, but I really do think a lot about the extras, you know, the duplicates and how well this case will sell. It's something that weighs on my mind probably more than it should, but it really is important, you know, because it's kind of like the ambiance, the environment for the case. You know, you get your new cars in the case, like for example, last, well, we have Jim Reverick, Sarah Wilson, Derek Williams, and Mummy Luigi and Guido. Those were great, but their supporting cast was kind of mediocre. I think case F was the best case of the year because it had such a great supporting cast. It had a ton of new releases, and then it had Kabuto, Todd Marcus, Brian Spark, all those re-releases as well that were really nice. Anyway, I don't really like how this looks like a banana. It's a little alarming, but... We are going to not worry about it and then just get on with it. You know, we have to do a little flippy here because it looks like the good stuff. We want to put the good stuff on the bottom. We want to get to that last. But either way, as always, as we did last time, we're going to start off the case the only way we know how to. Jeez, oh, they're interlocked. Oh, that's cute. With two Rusty's. Lightning McQueen's. Oh my god. You know, I'm actually recording these case unboxings back to back. So it hurts all that much more because just 20 minutes ago, I literally took two of these exact same cars out of the case to start off the video. <laughs> okay, okay. Calm down, Disney Docket. Yeah, it's just disappointing. You know, they're not even on good cards. And he's still there chilling with Raul Set Rule. My favorite World Grand Prix racer, Rusty's Lightning McQueen. I really wish they fixed that card back. But, you know, this is the last case. So clearly that ship has sailed or rather sunk. 
Is this a Jim Reverick? Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, I got excited there. I saw the green next gen. I was like, oh, no way. H.J. Hollis. That's kind of symbolic. He was in the first case of the year, and now he's back. So, yeah, this is the N2 Ocola next gen. I haven't seen too many of him lately, so hopefully he doesn't peg warm all that much. This really is an important case. Again, like I was saying, the supporting cast is important here because, you know, leading into 2022, things always get a little, I guess, strict around the edges. Like going into the New Year stores really kind of look at what they're ordering and what's selling. And, you know, when they get into a groove during the year, like they just order the cases because they on a monthly basis, essentially. But now, you know, with the new calendar year and all that stuff, this case is basically like a salesman for the entire 2022 year, or at least to get started. So if it doesn't sell well, if it sits on the pegs for a while, you know what that means. We won't see 2022 stuff for a while. So H.J. Hollis, put a smile on that face and sell yourself to the kiddos that walk into the store. Please do it for me. I don't worry about flow here. I never see a flow hanging on the pegs. The uh, Radiator Springs townies, they always tend to sell well. So that really is actually heart warming because they are the original characters and all that. Yeah, so she looks great on a perfect card too. Love to see it. I'm not sure what other Thailand variants we get in this case. I know we obviously have two brand new releases. And then beyond that, I know there's a new variant of Chris Ripstopsky. But I'm not really sure what else we have to offer in this case. Oh, interesting. All right. A Robert Jam Jones. So for that ever reason... This case F new car has been Mattel's favorite and they've just wanted to pound it out. I don't know if it's like a pity thing. They just like pities and they can make those more easily. But we think back to that case, there were like five or six new cars in it. Obviously, Racing Red Sally is not going to get another release in another case. But you have Joe Don Jackson. You have Saludos Amigos Ramon in that case. You have Mafas Fong. Now he got other re issues as well but I just don't really understand why they chose Robert Jam Jones over like Saludos Amigos Ramon or especially Joe Don Jackson to include in another case and I think I'm even missing one as well so I don't know because Robert Jam Jones has been in like at least three maybe even four cases and he is starting to peg warm I have seen quite a few of him lately but oh well it's still better than not being a new character because he'll eventually sell. Now here's one that's new for 2021 packaging. Ooh, goodness gracious. You're one of the worst ones that possibly that could have happened to because I actually need you to be on a good card because who knows if I'll find you in a store, but okay. Anyway, Hydraulic Ramon. This is his first release on 2021 packaging. He was released also last year as well at the very beginning. Well, he was on the Blue Desert card. I don't think it was technically a part of the 2020 line. I think it might have been that like little intermediate fall of 2019 Blue Desert stuff. But either way, he is now back for 2021. And yeah, I didn't find any of the Blue Desert version of him. So I doubt I will find really much of him on the 2021 Desert Horizon packaging either. But he looks good. Always good to see, you know, Hydraulic Ramon, or really any version of Ramon. That bothers me. Cars 2? Are you kidding me? Guys, 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 did we see Hydraulic Ramon in Cars 2? No, we didn't. Simple answer is no. Now, the funny thing is, though, I do want to remark is that when they originally released Hydraulic Ramon, it was on the Porta Corsa Cars 2 packaging. And he was the only release from like the 2011 to 2012 singles era that didn't appear in Cars 2. So it's almost as if they thought he appeared in Cars 2 then as well. Although it didn't necessarily 
you know, the packaging, even though it was Porta Corsa and it was a part of like the Cars 2 debut line, you know, it was one of those first releases. It didn't necessarily tie it to the movie. But now, I mean, this clearly says as seen in Cars 2. So that basically tells us that Mattel has thought Hydraulic Ramon has appeared in Cars 2 for over 10 years now, which is pretty funny to me, I guess. That is pretty comical. Does anyone watch the movie over there? All right, so Doc Hudson now carries over to this case after being introduced in the last case. Obviously not as a new car, but just new to 2021 Desert Horizon packaging. So again, Radiator Springs Townies sell well, especially Doc, so it's good to put him back in the case. Yes, you're right, he did appear in Cars 1. You got that one. Sarcastic. Tone is dialed up right now, guys. It is dialed up. Here we have Max Schnell. Obviously the German World Grand Prix racer. Don't really see too many World Grand Prix racers peg warming. Like even Raul Serrul, you know, I do see more of him than anyone. But I feel like the usual candidates are the World Grand Prix racers to peg warm. But now it's really more the next gens. So don't really have any issue Seeing Max in the case, I actually kind of like it. This one, though. Hello, old friend. John Belaya Chimichanga. So thanks, somebody on Instagram gave me the stats for how much Jambalaya was included in 2020 cases because I felt like, or since 2020, I don't remember the exact stats. I'll try and remember to put it on the screen here. Or at least put it somewhere because I'm very grateful to Erin who is on Instagram. She compiled the stats of Jambalaya Chimichanga. Basically confirming exactly what I thought that she had been included in way more cases than pretty much anyone else that's not like McQueen or Jackson or Cruz. And yeah, sure enough, she's been in a bazillion cases like oodles and oodles of cases since the start of 2020. And it really is funny because... It's just such an odd character. It really is a nice one, though. Like, I like this character a lot. I mean, it's a car with polka dots, right? But things, again, get diluted with oversaturation and, you know, just seeing it way too many times on the pegs. But, yeah, how lovely. Jambalaya started us off in case A, and she's going to end us in case M as well. <laughs> All right, here's Chaisaki. So just like Doc Hudson, she was new to Case L in terms of packaging. And also she was a new Thailand variant and she's back. So definitely not going to complain about her on a good card as well. In cars too. Look how much barely space she takes up of the blister i mean she takes up like two-thirds of that or actually that's almost like one-third hmm. she still gets billed as a single oh no you didn't do it to me you didn't do it no Ooh. darren ledfoot <laughs> oh my goodness and two of you wow I was just talking about in the last video about stock cars this year and how some have just become super, super peg warmer and then others have become super rare. Like Ruby Easy Oaks is by far the rarest stock car released this year and I don't really know why. I mean, I think he's been in multiple cases. Todd Marcus too, but those two just are more popular or whatever. And obviously they are less produced than somebody like Darren here who's been with us since case a of 2021 and he is still with us a year later for the end of the year i don't know why do you put two of them in the case this guy is a monster peg warmer and this is just going to reignite the flame after he just started to fizzle out man i hate to be so down in the dumps about these guys but they really they really can't be doing this this is just bad marketing Bad retail theory. 
Anyways, I'm not going to talk much more about that stuff. It really does bother me. I hope you guys understand what I mean. All right, we're going to pull out Daryl Cartrip here. Ooh, a perfect card. Now, this is a good inclusion here. Don't see really any of him on the pegs much at all. He's a really great release, I think. I think he's very iconic. He's noticeable and just a nice-looking die cast. Although he was released since Case A here, as you can see, these are all the Case A stuff. He still, you know, makes for a nice inclusion. Really love the card art for him as well. Welcome him in with open arms, that's for sure. Trainer Cruz Ramirez is back. So another one that's been around for a while, Case E but don't see that many of her. I like her card art because she was originally released in 2020 and they just used a regular picture of Cruz. So it was really hard to tell if you had it, you know, if you're just scrolling through the pegs, but now you could easily tell. So I like that improvement. Yeah. I will take it, you know, Believe it or not, KSL didn't have a single Cruz or Jackson. You know, Jackson really, Mattel has put him in the doghouse after last year. <laughs> he had all sorts of time and screen time last year, and now he's in the doghouse. So next year, I hope Jambalaya Jimmy Chang is in the doghouse because she has had two years now worth of screen time. But they also need to put like McQueen and Cruz and Darren Ledfoot and other characters in the doghouse as well. They're going to have to build a new doghouse. Aiden, so one of the trainees from the Rusty's Training Center. We had two Tom W's in the last case, and so now we have one Aiden in this one. I think they definitely did more Aidens this year than Tom W's, but it doesn't really matter to me. I really don't see all that many on the pegs. I do prefer Aiden, though. Actually, I prefer Tom W. I prefer Tom W. Marlon. Marlon is back. So yeah, last case, Case L, was the first time he was released on 2021 card. And now he's back again. So same with Doc and Shisaki. Although both Marlon and Doc are not new to Thailand variants, unlike Shisaki. Yeah. I like him a lot. I really do like this police car look. And I think they should totally do the Cars 3 version of this character, which is just a repaint of Pat Traxon, which as we know, they have no shortage of that model. So there you have it. Marlon Clutch's McKay. I really want to save the new releases for last, guys. I'm sorry to do it to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to dodge them. Snag a Hot Rod Junior Moon. So he was also in the last case. I'm a little fearful. They've included quite a few of him over the last few cases. But he always has been a pretty popular release. It really just begs the question, like, what makes Mattel want to release this one? Way more than Hot Rod Smokey or Hot Rod Louise Nash or Hot Rod River Scott. Because if you like look at it, I mean, this guy's probably been included in four or five cases this year, whereas those other three have been included in only like one. Hot Rod Smokey, maybe two, but those other two were definitely only in one, which is just, just really funny to me. It's just really weird. <laughs> it's like Mattel's just like waving their finger and they just point to one and then that's the one they just stick with and they don't really ever spruce it up. Really makes me want to work for Mattel. I just want to know the thought process that goes behind that. But they never hire me. I've just been slandering them too much. I am, come on, Mattel. You guys know me. I'm still going to buy your stuff. And I give you probably <laughs> more sales out of all these videos that I've done here than any commercial you could possibly have done. Anywho, Corey Turbowitz back again. So she was also a Case A beginner. She's here with us to end the year as well. Been saying that a lot. It's like they kind of copied case A and made it a little different. And then you got case M. 
She just looks so weird to me without the side view mirror. She looks like an egg. They really need to add those side view mirrors. I mean, it's only been, what, 13 years? I think it's time. Actually, it might have even been one more than that. We're gaining on 14 of egg Corey. But yeah, again, she'll sell. I don't see much of her hanging around. All right, now here's an inclusion that I'm happy about. This, again, is very, very wise of Mattel. A tractor. So a new release. This guy was only included in KC of 2021, and now he's back. I'm super happy that they decided to put him back in the case because the tractors fly off the pegs probably more than anything, I'd say. Actually, one of the few cars I haven't found from 2021 is bumper safe tractor and then also viewsine tractor and clutch aid tractor well actually i haven't found any of the new cars from that case like i haven't found steve herschel or hot rod steve herschel or jimmy lugrench either so i guess i just really haven't found that case at all although i have seen ron hover and antonio Velose. but anyways my point is i've seen pretty much all the cars from the year and two of them I haven't seen are two tractors. The only one I've seen are this one and Sputter Stop. And Sputter Stop I've only seen like two of. So my point is, this guy will sell very well. And he was a good choice to put in this case here. And I had no idea he was going to be in the case, honestly. So there you have a 2021. He's looking like a happy tractor, a little happy cow. Yeah, for whatever reason, KC was an easy one for me to come by. Found plenty of it at Target. All right. We were just talking about this guy right here, Mafas Fong. So probably one of the most anticipated releases going into the year, but then he kind of lost some hype. Mafas Fong, the next-gen Revengo. So coming into this year, we needed four next gens, and we got all four of them. Started with Vinyl Toupee, then Revengo, then Spearmint, and ended with Carbon Cyber. But Mephast Fong just seemed to be the most popular of all those for whatever reason. Everyone just really kind of had an infatuation with Revengo. And I get it. I think he's a cool sponsor. I think it's a nice racer. But they certainly have included more of him than anyone else, like more of more than Will Rush, more than Nick Shift, and Jim Reverick was obviously only in the last case, and there was only one of him, so Mephast Fong outduels him tenfold. And I'm not even kidding. I'm sure it probably might be 10 to 1 in terms of amount of Mephast Fongs in the cases compared to Jim Reverick's. But yeah, okay. I mean, that's okay. Two of them on perfect cards. Not going to complain. But here we are. The final three releases of the year. There they lie. Let's dive into it. We have Chris Revstopsky with a new colored flag. So she started off, obviously, with the, the boxy model. You know, she had her enlarged, more pickup truck model that is the same as Dexter Hoover and all that. And then they changed it to... This model, so that was already one variant of her. And then they released her last year again with a white flag. And that was now the third version of her. And now this year we get her with a yellow flag. So pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure though. She actually appeared in the movie with a yellow flag. And I also wish they changed up her expression. But it's nice though that they're at least making an effort to at least change something about the car. Because I mean, I'm sure... Mattel totally would feel justified in just releasing the green flag one again. You know, I'm totally confident they would not lose any sleep if they didn't change the color. So I'm happy that they did. And they do even mark it as new for 2021 because they feel good about it. They're actually getting more sleep at night because they think they actually include a new car. Yeah, I mean, it is technically. It's attached to her. There's no tugging it off of it. So technically it is. They don't indicate it as such on the name tag. But yeah, Chris Revstopsky with yellow flag. Huh, that's weird. All these cars are from Case D and K 
case. Kurt was from F. Kathy was C. This is a weird little amalgam of releases here. But yeah, interesting to put Ducky Fauntleroy. He just stands out as case D. But really, these are all a mix. C, 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 F, F, A. I don't know. Yeah, all right. All right, now here's where the good stuff is. We have Millie here. So the janitor from the Rusty's Racing Center that actually has a speaking line in the movie, which I think is pretty cool that we're getting characters that spoke instead of just background characters. And I love that she's got the vacuum. We'll talk much more about this in my upcoming review of her. But she has the vacuum and the cone, which is awesome because, again, I feel like Mattel would totally not lose any sleep at night if they just included her with the vacuum because that's all the art is anyways right so to put a cone in there especially one that we haven't seen before is really cool like they've done cones before but none that look like that so we'll talk about that in my review of her but choking hazard because of those two accessories there new for 2021 i love the kind of ticked off expression she's got going on there and again we have a weird little amalgam of releases here jimmy cable shows up murray clutchburn shows up yeah Definitely, again, one of my favorite releases for the year because she's a new prominent character. But last but not least is none other than Racing Red Lightning McQueen. So this, of course, is the final Racing Red of the year. They built up all the way to none other than Lightning McQueen. And I think that was a great choice, honestly. You either start with McQueen or you end with McQueen. And I think it was a good choice to start with Mater. And then with McQueen. Now again, we'll talk about this in my review of him. But they use the Cars 3 model. Yet the Cars 1 paint job. Which the Cars 1 paint job is, trust me, that was the right call. Because we're celebrating the anniversary of Cars with these Racing Red releases, right? So it was a little bit of an oversight then I think to make him the Cars 3 model. Unless they're just going to do that going forward. Even when they release the normal Cars 1 Lightning McQueen without the fancy paint job, which I don't think they'll do. Like, you know, when they release the Pixar Fast McQueen here, which is kind of similar to this guy, he's using the Cars 1 model. So it's not like they have extinguished that model. So I do believe it was an oversight here. But either way, it's really great to see him here. And I love the artwork. He's got slightly new expression there. And it looks like mine is a little, got like a little chip there. Look at that. Ooh, like right there, right above my thumb. Huh. Oh well, I've already griped enough about stuff in this case. Supporting cast, brr, not so good. The new stuff, yeah. Millie and Racing Red McQueen are awesome. They might not be, in terms of quantity, you know, very overwhelming to you guys, but I think that. You know, they are probably two of the best releases of the entire year. So, gotta give that to Mattel. I think it's a great way to end the year. So, let me know in the comment section below who are your favorites and which ones will you be picking up. These are available now at Walmart stores across the United States, which is pretty surprising to me. I think it's awesome that they've shown up here before Australia. That's definitely a first. And... Now all the cases are out and available, at least somewhere, right? So onwards to 2022 and cheers to 2021. It's been a great year and I've enjoyed unboxing all these cases for you. I did all of them except case A, which was not available to get me collectibles, which then of course begs the question, will 2022 case A be available? Who knows? The retailers like to order up a bunch of those. But again, that all depends on also how well this case sells and I mean, actually, it really does. I feel like a lot of that stuff's already in motion, but what do I know? I'm just some guy who buys the stuff. I just react. I don't actually do anything. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you soon for the reviews of both of these wonderful releases. And no, I'm not reviewing a new piece of plastic flag. <laughs> Bye now. Bye.